what's up everyone this is jay with enhanced trades and in this video all i'm going to be talking about is how you can get access to the trading journal as well as how you can use it and just navigating through it real quick so let's get started right so in the description below you will find the link to the google docs that you can make a copy of and i'll show you exactly how so just click on the link or copy paste it and it will bring you to this page just make sure you're logged into your google account and then you'll get open with Google Sheets right here, right? Click on that button. You'll get this nice page and nice sheets. And then just hit make a copy, right? Boom. It'll take a quick second. And now you have your own journal that you can use. You can edit, type anything you want to, right? And yeah. So let me just take you guys through a quick tutorial on how to use the trading journal, right? Obviously, we start off on the left. We have the date, the ticker, purchase price, sell price, quantity. So these tabs are the ones that you're going to be filling out yourself. Whatever date you traded on, the ticker that you used, the purchase price, the sell price, and the quantity that you got. Everything else will be calculated for you. The P&L, it's automatic. Return, automatic. The win-loss, it'll tell you. If you had a profit, it considers itself a win. If you had a loss, it will say lo if you had a loss, like if you had like a negative loss, essentially, it will automatically tell you, hey, this is a losing trade. And then in the notes section, you're just going to, you know, input your notes. Uh, and this is very crucial, guys. Like this is the part that matters the most, right? A lot of traders don't take notes and they don't know what they're doing wrong. They just assume, but they don't know for sure. So by taking notes on all of your trades, regardless of if it's a win or a loss, you'll be able to track your performance on why everything's happening the way it is, right? So if you were losing trades continuously, write down exactly why you lost that trade. Did something happen in that market that day? Or did you get in too early? Did you take your profits out too fast? Or what happened? What was the scenario that made you lose, right? So by doing that, you're going to automatically get in the fact of self-reflection. And when you can self-reflect all the time, you will become a self better trader because you're essentially understanding what mistakes you're making. And with this journal, what you want to do is if you want, you can do a review daily or just a minimum do it every week, right? At the end of every week, just go down your list and see, okay, I won because of this reason. I lost because of this reason. And am I losing because of the same reasons every single time? So pay attention to that. Because if you're losing because of the same reasons every single time, that's a key indicator telling you, hey, you have to change that up. You have to stop doing that, right? If you're entering the markets too early every time, instead of just waiting that one extra minute to get that confirmation, guess what? Now you know. You need to wait, be patient, and then enter right and right next to the notes section right now we have a trading view chart link and for that uh, i put that there because it's a good way to understand where you took the trade how the trade played out and everything so in trading view obviously if you just click that camera button on the top right you can take a screenshot it'll give you a link and if you just click on the link right and just paste it it will show you your chart that you took a picture of a screenshot of essentially and obviously you guys know that I trade based off of the algo that I've built. There's a link to sign up for the algo in the Excel sheet too, as well as the description below. Like right here, there's a link, but going to the other points of the Excel sheet is all you have to enter really is in the beginning, just change your starting balance out. I know everybody starts out with a different balance, so you can edit this to 5,000, 10,000, 25,000, 50,000, whatever it is, right? Change it to that. And then your daily goal percentage, same thing. Just change your daily goal percentage to whatever you, that you want. And then everything else will be taken care of in the second sheet at the bottom, right? Right here. So this is the balance tracker. So the reason I made this is so that you can track your balances, your P&L, your daily ending balance as well as your daily return versus your overall return since you started the account this is a great way of just making sure you see hey i'm following my rules 
I'm getting good profits and I should be continuing this method because it's working and you can tell and you can make that link between your trades your losing trades and how much you're losing with the trades that you're taking because it, it will automatically tell you hey what date did you take that trade so super simple it's very good to use a trading journal is a must especially when you're starting out even if you're an expert you know that you need a little journal to keep track of everything but yeah so if you guys like this video please subscribe hit that like button and until then i'll see you guys next time peace